Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the BK-401 4 input, 1 output, 8K HDMI switch. This product was designed to make it incredibly easy for you to connect four different HDMI media devices to a single monitor while still providing complete control over which of those media streams is displayed on that monitor at any given time by using the selection button on the front of the unit or the included remote control. The product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content at up to 60 frames a second, as well as 4K content at both 60 frames and 120 frames a second, and even lower resolution content. The product is fully HDMI 2.1 and HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means it'll work with all of your modern media equipment and supports a wide range of different media styles. It even supports 10-bit video and has automatic EDID switch setting adjustments to match the frame rate and resolution of your input content to your monitor. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll list the features and functions the product provides. I'll take a closer look at the switch and explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. And then finally, I'll come back and do a brief demonstration right here to show you just how easy this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the 4x1 switch. You'll find a single DC 5 volt 1 amp power supply. You can simply plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find an infrared remote control included with the kit, which makes it really easy to select which input you want sent to the monitor from quite a distance away from the switch. Also included is a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other really important details about the switch that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll list the features and functions the product provides, I'll take a closer look at it, and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. The O-Ray BK-401 can be used with all modern media devices, including computers, security cameras, game consoles, laptops, and other portable devices. The product's features include full support of 8K ultra high definition media content. It is both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant. It provides connections for up to four input devices. It features full audio support and automatic EDID settings and includes an infrared remote control for easy selection of your media. The BK401 features a high impact plastic case which makes it lightweight and very durable. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it checks all the electronics internally. It also checks the resolution of your four media devices and the resolution of your monitor to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. Once that test finishes, it'll light that LED letting you know the module's ready to use. To the right of that are five more LEDs labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, and Auto. These first four indicate which of the inputs is currently being sent to the monitor, and you can select which input you'd like to see by tapping the Input button and walk from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to Auto. When you put it in Auto mode, it automatically selects the input that was last used and sends the output of that to the monitor. To the right of that is an infrared receiver, and that's used with the included remote control. When you position this on your desk or on your media center, you want to make sure that window is visible if you're using the remote control because that's where the signals are picked up from that remote control. To the right of that is the input selector button. You can tap that to move between these four inputs. On the bottom of the unit, you'll find holes in the cabinet that are designed to let any heat escape during operation and keep the electronics at a comfortable temperature. You'll also find four rubber feet that help to keep the unit in place when you set it down and protect the surface it's setting on. On the rear of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a DC input port. That's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug the other end of that into a wall outlet. The barrel connector plugs right in there and provides all the power you'll need for operation. To the right of that are four HDMI ports labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. These connect to whatever media devices you'd like to view on your output display. On the side of the unit, you'll find an HDMI port labeled output. That connects up to your monitor that you'd like to enjoy the content from these four devices on. That's pretty much it for the switch. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up four small media players. Each of them are displaying a different image to make it easy to tell them apart. 
These represent my four HDMI media sources, and they can be a DVD player, a game console, a laptop, pretty much anything with a standard HDMI output. Over here, I've set up a single monitor. This is where I'd like to enjoy the content from my media devices. In front of me, I have the BK401. Now, the first set of connections I'll make are from my media devices to the Switch. I've already connected HDMI cables up to each of the players. The other end of those cables, I'll plug into HDMI input port number one, input port number two, input port number three, and finally input port number four. Now we're all set to connect up my monitor. I have an HDMI cable connected to that. The other end of that cable plugs into the HDMI output port on the side of the unit. And now we're ready for power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the DC port on the back of the unit. Now, the minute I add power to the unit, it starts that internal power on self-test where it checks the resolution of my media devices and the resolution of the monitor. And once it passes that test, it'll start sending the content to the monitor. So I'll plug that in. It takes a second or two for it to make the adjustments needed. And there's my first input. Right now I'm looking at input number one. Now if I'd like to switch to input number two, I'll just tap the switch. It'll change to the second input. If I tap it again, it'll change to the third input. It takes a second for it to make that adjustment. And finally, there's the fourth input. Now the unit is actually automatically adjusting the EDID switch settings necessary for the input to match the output. That's all done digitally. There's no bank of EDID switches on this unit. It also is checking the resolution of my input devices and making adjustments if needed to give me the best possible picture on the output. And the nice part there is that you can have a variety of different HDMI devices on the same monitor, and this switch is going to take care of the adjustments needed, again, to give you the best possible picture. And it really is just that simple to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray BK-401 4 input, 1 output, 8K HDMI switch helpful. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to share the output from four different HDMI media sources with a single monitor while still providing complete control over which of those media streams is displayed on that monitor at any given time by using the selection buttons on the front of the unit or the infrared remote control. The product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content at up to 60 frames a second, as well as 4K content at both 60 frames a second and 120 frames a second, as well as even lower resolution content, which means it'll work with all of your modern media gear like game consoles, DVD players, home computers, and even widescreen displays. The product is also HDMI 2.1 and HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means it's going to work with a wide range of different media styles. Finally, it supports 10-bit video and has automatic EDID setting adjustments, so you'll plug and play different devices into the unit and it'll work flawlessly with whatever monitor you're using. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.